Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be organising my kitchen cupboard. Since moving in, um, I haven't really tidied the cupboards up or reorganised them or rearranged them. So it was well overdue. I'm actually going to be redecorating the kitchen in the new year. So everything's not in baskets or perfectly organised how I would like it. It was literally just a quick tidy up just to get a bit more organised so we can live day to day a bit cleaner and a bit more organised and a bit easier as well. There's nothing worse than not knowing where something is or it's hard to get to or you understand what I'm saying. It's just nice to have everything easy going and flow through the morning, afternoon and evening when you've got to do breakfast, when you've got to do lunch, when you've got to make dinner, when you've got to find medicine. You know what I'm saying. It needs to be some sort of order, even if this is not how... I anticipate it to be in the future. It just needed to have a good declutter, reorganise, so everything just flowed so much easier day to day. After shots will be at the end, guys, so make sure you stay till the end to see those. So the video just now was just a before shot. I like to do like a surface clean, obviously on all the units, and I needed to catch up on dishes and things like that. So this is just what I'm doing now. I'll be using my new multi-surface spray. Um, it's the Zaflora one. I've talked about it in another video as well. It smells amazing. It cuts through grease. You can use it on any surface, obviously. So this and a minky cloth, a minky M cloth, is the only two tools that I'm going to be using the whole day when I reorganise. I say the whole day. I actually, It actually took me a week to do this organising, so don't think it was done in one day, guys. Anyway, I'll just leave you with some music now. This is why I love the Minky M cloth. I love the scour end. It literally cuts through everything. The black bits at the bottom of the cupboard was actually from the uh, throwaway barbecue that we had. You can see it here. Just cuts through everything. I absolutely love it. So if you haven't got a Minky M cloth, I really, really do um, suggest getting one. They're amazing. you can see the cleaning cupboard really needed a good reorganize and sort out it was terrible under there so the way i like to work is to literally whatever i'm doing whether it's a room whether it's a cupboard i like to pull everything out put it into piles and sort it out whether i need to chuck things away or i want to keep them i will organize them into piles as i'm doing here clean the area that everything's going to be going back to and then obviously just move everything back in organized and where i want it to be So guys, let me know how you organize your cleaning cupboard. So I've kind of done mine in sections. So I've done one for like carpets and floor. I've done another for bathroom. I've done another for cloths and things like that. But I think once I've redecorated and reorganized everything in the new year, I think I kind of want to do everything in sort of like a daily, weekly and monthly basket. And then I kind of know where I am with everything. But let me know how you do it. So I'm just giving the storage baskets a little scrub out and then I'm going to get back to obviously scrubbing the cupboard down as well. You can probably see the water stains and sort of mould marks on the back of the cupboard. They won't actually come off, they're stained. I'm going to have to get some like of the mould paint that you can get and just give that a little touch up. Again, that's going to be once I've redecorated the kitchen um, in the new year.
I know that you are having a hard time right now. That everything seems to crumble around you. So I'm just moving on to Willow's cupboard now. Honestly, because I knew that I was going to have to reorganise soon in the kitchen cupboards, I just started throwing everything in. Isn't that always the case? You know you're going to be doing something or you keep saying to yourself, I'm going to be reorganising that soon or I'm going to be cleaning that soon. So you just sort of like give up and chuck everything in. Makes the job ten times harder. Don't do it to yourselves, guys. But anyway, same method here. Just getting everything out so I can clean the cupboard inside and then reorganise everything into categories and put it all back in. I know that you are having trouble believing right now That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through. Because we are organizing the sections there and then I'm just going to put this new um, plate holder in. I actually got this from Aldi. It was literally, I think I want to say it was like £2.99 or £3.99, which I think is a bargain. Next, I'm going to be doing the mug and glass cabinet. I also keep all of the sort of tea bags and coffee or the extras at the top, along with my cooking books on the other side. So I just got everything out of there, gave it a good clean, and then put everything back in. This cupboard was a little sneak peek of how it was going. Um, obviously, stay tuned for the rest at the end. Next, I've got my snack cupboard and then my sort of tin and potato cupboard, I guess, with all bits and bobs in, pasta, things like that. So I was actually rearranging the both cupboards around, so swapping them around, basically. I was getting everything out like I have been, then washing the cupboards down and getting everything back in. But it took me a bit longer to reorganise because obviously I moved the cupboards around. And it's a few weeks down the line and I'm still not exactly happy of the flow of everything, to be honest. So I'm probably going to change it just before Christmas again. I feel like if you're a few hours, days or weeks in and everything's still getting really messy then the way you've organised it just isn't right or is just not the right flow so I just believe in trying something different that does actually work and flow. Anyway next is my plate, bowl and breakfast cupboard so I've kind of got a top and a bottom to this. Plates all go down the bottom and the bowls and then my breakfasty bits go on the top just so I know what everything is. Again, once I've redecorated, I'd like to have those on the work units instead, so all this nice cereal sort of bar kind of out, so that'll be lovely. But for now, I've put it all back in. Next, I'm moving on to my drawers, which contains the top drawer, which is my dreaded junk drawer and cutlery tray drawer. The middle drawer, which is our medication drawer. I really wanted to organise this, I'll show you in a bit now. Um, but I actually go through all of the medications. I've made a cold and flu sort of tub because that season is coming up or is already upon us now and I just wanted everything to hand so when everybody, anybody's got a cold or flu which we've actually had the last sort of two days that tonsillitis and really chesty coughs I was able to just grab that and everything was in there ready so it was so much easier rather than rummaging through that drawer trying to find everything it was in one tub pulled it out and I was able to use it all the time which was great then the bottom drawer which is the sort of big um, utensil drawer so obviously all the utensils are in there our soup sort of blenders in there knives things like that
everything a lot more reorganized, clean and tidy and easy um, for our day-to-day -day life and easy to flow, I guess. So these are the Aftershock. This cupboard is what I use for the boys' food. And then I've also got the saucepan and saucepan lids, my air fryer, grill and frying pans. Here's everything going back under the sink. So I've got my miscellaneous sort of sections, a bit of everything under there, DIY tools, you name it, it's there. Then I've got my cloths on the left there. And then if you have a look down the bottom, I've kind of got everything into sections as I explained earlier, sort of like a carpet section. All of my spray bottles are easy to reach because I use them on a daily basis next to my Zaflora. Extra washing tablets and very liquid at the back because obviously I've got my dishmatic and a little tub that I keep in my utility room. I deleted the after shots of Willow's cupboard so I had to put my TikTok video in here guys but it is very satisfying to see the before and after there. But now I'm thinking I kind of should have just done that at the end anyway, the before and after so I could remind I you of how bad it actually was but hey ho. Anyway that was the mug and glass cupboard and here is my new bacon tin pasta sort of cupboard with all the spices and then this is my new sort of snack cupboard with all the pop and obviously just snacks and bread. The last cupboard is my breakfast and plate and bowl cupboard. So there's all the breakfast items at the top there, and then I've got all my bowls, plates, and all the Christmassy bits um, ready for Christmas, obviously. Anyone else just has brain farts all the time since having kids. Anyway, I've also done the end into the drawers like I did on the TikTok video, so I've done the before and there's the after. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's given you a bit of motivation just to get everything reorganized, cleaned out and ready for Christmas. I will be filming a whole house clean soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, apart from that, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification button and I will see you in another video tomorrow. I know that you are happy.